Hello everyone, welcome to a video about my mod. Today I'm going to be talking about the update coming to my mod. Uh, of course, a lot of people in the Discord have been saying Zony's mod 3.0, and yes, it is a 3.0 mod, but we, I've done a new thing. So, we're going to be having expansions if you've played uh, any game of expansion like World of Warcraft, Destiny 2 or any other games like that you will know that they're called expansions because the game is free but the expansions are paid for and they expand on the game's lore and new weapons, new just items, anything now, of course, everything in my mod is free, and it will always be free. But, I know that some people have asked me, will I do updates after I release 3.0? And I said, yes, uh, and I would like to do that. And for me to do that, it will be easier if I do expansions, because I can plan it out, and it's just easier for me to manage. Currently, the expansions last not even close to as long as other games, of course. Uh, the first expansion that will release with 3.0 is Beyond the Dock. Um, and that will last for two weeks, and then the new one will come out. Uh, when Beyond the Dock comes out, you will know the name of the next expansion, but that is all you get, so you can uh, speculate on what it will be. Um, what this means is though, is that the one after Beyond the Dark will have new law, or uh, well, it will have new law, but it will continue on from previous uh, things, so Beyond the Dark basically, and I think this will work well because it carries on the story. But it also gives new content for the people who want just the content that they want to read the lore. And I think that that is a good idea. So I can keep the content going, but it just has a. There's just time frames in between, so I can actually manage to do it. And I'm making this video now because I really wanted to do it now. Um, while I have the time to, and it's also because I am close to actually doing 3.0. Um, of course, we've still got quite a few levels to do. Um, we've got to test them too and test the stats as well. We've done all the player stats for the units, but even those might get adjusted depending on certain things. Uh, to still have to do enemy stats, of course. And, or, uh, of course, the lore as well, which Shade is doing. Of course, I read it and give him some feedback on what I want with the lore because um, I have very good ideas, but I'm not very good at writing it. So I'm glad that Shade can write it for me. And, uh, yeah. So it, I know that I said in the Discord, or, well, I don't remember if I said it in the Discord, but I definitely said it to Shade and you know, the testers and everyone in the team that I will probably be releasing it during October and of course it's October now but I said it's not guaranteed to and that is still the case um, I'm not gonna put a time when I will be releasing it because I don't know if that's when I will be releasing it which is why I'm saying it probably will release during October but it's not guaranteed to um, that's really about it. Of course I'm back at uni now as well as working so I don't really get that much time but as I'm recording this um, I have today, um, tomorrow and Saturday off so that'll be some good time to work on the mod. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Not really. Um, I guess 
look forward to Beyond the Dot because that's going to have its own lore and everything. Uh, and of course, look forward to the one after that because uh, Beyond the Dot lasts for two weeks, and the one after that, we'll see how long it lasts. But my range right now is two to four weeks, or of course, four weeks being a month. Um, but we'll, we'll see when the time comes. But yeah, thanks for listening. This is kind of a, I guess, a teaser too. And um, yeah, I'll see you later.